Hi. Remember last year we were telling you about the work that we're doing with Chief Francis Kariuki, the tweeting chief? Well, that work has proceeded uh, quite a bit and I'm here to update you a little bit more about what we've done so far with him. So the Open Institute has been working over the last couple of months with Chief Francis Kariuki, the tweeting chief, um, on trying to figure out how can we uh, implement the sustainable development goals in Laneto Moja location which is his community of about 29,000 people, about 7,500 households. What the chief wanted to figure out is, can he use data to affect the SDGs in his community? In fact, can the SDGs be implemented at local community level? This was a very strong proposition for the Open Institute and we decided that we want to work with him to try and understand that and to try and figure that out. In the model that we've been working on so far, what we have done is that we first went and engaged the community leaders. We brought about 300 community leaders um, who each um, oversee about 25 uh, or so households. Um, we met them and we had this detailed conversation about what is data, what does data look like and so on. Uh, we picked some information from the World Bank's data literacy pro pro uh, program that is led by Craig Hammer and Sandro Moscoso. Um, but in addition to that, we, we were able to sort of spend more time just having a conversation about what the importance of data is and how it can help them to achieve their goals as a community. We introduced them to the sustainable development goals and when we did that, we were amazed at um, how the, the community sort of understood it really well and how they engaged with the idea of the Sustainable Development Goals. When, before we went there, um, we had had conversations and tried to imagine what that would look like. And it was interesting that some people thought that we would really need to dumb down um, the Sustainable Development Goals for the community to understand them. This was not the case. Dazoma ya mwireto wa data. Data ya hato luta atiriri ni kuigwiza niya. Dazoka dazoma atiriri. Ati na bemwe, na bemwe chiyoli ya hili ya shi umakulia. Ni kuga tuikare tutai na angaragu. Na tutale ya dheni. So we believe what the government is doing in Makumi and what's happening with SDG combined together is going to transform the network. At the end of that process, the community uh, defined five goals for themselves. When they picked those five goals, we then had a conversation about, so what do we need to um, implement these goals? And it was agreed that data was important. So the Open Institute gave the community a number of phones um, and the community set out to go um, out to um, the various households and collect data. Have you been affected by any sort of illness? They were collecting data on everything. They were collecting data on, it was almost a census. They were collecting data on families. They were collecting data on children. They were collecting data on security. They were collecting data on health, on education, uh, and even on water and sanitation and infrastructure. After that, people were quite excited. They, they, they were touched by the idea that some of the things that they're supposed to know, they don't know. Issue to do with the issue of the county and what they're supposed uh, to ask and how they're supposed to get information that is important to them and be able to make the same information for their own good or somehow to, 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 to be able to put their, the politician on their toes without we, we, the mandate or responsibility we gave them. I'm collecting the data one for security. I want to be part of sustainable development goals. That when I look at the 17 of them, the, five, the first five about gender, about poverty, uh, reduction, about um, environment, I see that the whole community can change, provision of clean water. So, by collection of this data, I'm now able now to show to the world, to show to the, to the community, to show to the government what our needs are and where our needs are required by the collection of this data. I can now 
I have something to put on the table. See this. This is what we have. And this is the problem we are going through. These are the children suffering from dirty water. These are the homes that are only the breadwinner is, is, a, is a woman who need support. These issues of gender, things like that. So I know it's going to change the, the community by being, be having information that we can be laid on the table to say, this is where we are and this is what we need. Um, but this means one or two things. Uh, it means that uh, uh, just the engagement with citizens to understand how the SDGs directly translate to the improvement of development indicators at the local level is important. Uh, and that should be the starting point. People need to see that um, uh, this is what SDG 1, SDG 2, SDG 3 talks about. These are the indicators at the local level uh, that we are, are, are translating into action to improve our own lives. Now, that realization means that citizens can hold government to account in terms of meeting its own commitments uh, towards the, the, the SDGs. But more importantly, um, the identification of priorities by Chief Kariuki's community, his own development priorities, his own SDGs at the local level, means that uh, we have an opportunity to mobilize resources as non-state actors, civil society, uh, to go towards supporting such initiatives at the local level, um, in, in which case then we have um, a, a realistic chance of leaving no one behind, but also importantly as a nation, uh, achieving the sustainable development goals uh, and meaningful progress uh, that, that uh, 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 transforms the lives of people. At the end of this process, um, as, or as of now, what we have achieved so far is that the community has succeeded in collecting about 300 datasets uh, using the Android phones that we provided for them. Um, and these datasets have been fed into the chief's um, dashboard, which is going to help the chief and his assistants to not only um, have data that shows what his community looks like, but also helps other partners to understand the gaps that are in that community and the areas that that community need um, to be solved. One success factor that we found when we went back this year in January is that uh, based on some of the data that has been collected, a different organization um, was able to see um, you know, a synopsis of what the gap with regard to um, clean, water, clean drinking water is. And they have committed to provide the entire community, all 7,500 households, with clean drinking water. Um, using um, some clean water filters that they're providing for each of those communities. This is the sort of success that we are hoping to achieve with this project. To have seen that just based on the data an organization was able to find space to support a community, to have seen that data can um, enable a community to begin to define its priorities. This is the sort of thing that we, we wanted to, to achieve in the first place. And to have achieved some of that within just a matter of weeks is something that is very exciting to us. We shall keep you updated on um, how that particular project goes over the next uh, short while. But one thing that we believe is that if you engage the citizens, if you spend time with citizens, if you enable citizens to participate in not only just the use of data, but the collection of data, they understand what their priorities are. They understand what is important to them. And most importantly, they understand what the true state of their community is. So if we engage with them, they can help governments to have more accurate data. They can help civil society organizations um, that are supporting different things to have even better data. And certainly, we can be much more successful in development. Thank you.